Place the base plate on a flat and horizontal surface, free from external vibration or shock. Check the top surface for horizontality using the spirit level. Clean the table and the mould and dampen immediately prior to testing, but keep them free from excess moisture. Fit the collar to the cone. Place the cone centrally within the 210mm circle on the base plate and hold it in position by standing on the foot pieces, making sure that no concrete can leak from under the cone. Fill the cone in a single operation without any agitation or mechanical compaction and strike off surplus from the top of the cone. Allow the filled cone to stand for not more than 30 seconds. During this time, remove any spilled concrete from the base plate. Lift the cone vertically in a single movement without interfering with the flow of concrete. If the T500 time has been requested, start the stopwatch immediately the cone ceases to be in contact with the base plate and record the time taken for the concrete to first touch the 500mm circle to the nearest 0.1 of a second. Without disturbing the base plate or concrete, measure the largest diameter of the flow spread and record as dm to the nearest 10 millimeters. Then measure the diameter of the flow spread at right angles to dm to the nearest 10 millimeters and record as dr. The slump flow is the calculated mean of dm and dr and is expressed to the nearest 10 millimeters 